We are presenting a wooden house. But Canadian wood has been uh, very popular in India. Last time when I had an opportunity to use the Canadian wood on a terrace, on a gazebo, on a pergola, and many areas, we could see how we could transform the standard, they have some standard sizes, but how we could transform them into whatever we wanted to do. They come out very well. It's a red cedar wood what we have used. And I think I must say that working with Canadian wood is a very good experience. One more thing I would like to mention here. In Canada, I was told the forest, Canada is full of forests. And whatever wood they harvest, multiple times of planting is done to compensate the whatever wood you are removing from the forest. Unlike in India, where we are clearing forests but not able to plant that much. But in Canada, the policy of the government is to plant much more times than what you cut. And that they have been following meticulously and that is why Canadian timber will have a long journey in serving you know, material for various countries throughout the world. I think it is exporting wood to almost every country in the world. So that is a great uh, achievement by Canada because of its natural resources. Now coming to the way this uh, uh, wooden uh, villa has been put up, I went through each and every room, the meticulous way in which it has been done, either structurally by supporting with the wooden members and also the finishes what they have done in each and every room using different uh, finishes of the same wood. See the species are the same. Mostly they have, I think I was told, they have five species of sedars. But how they adapt it to suit the structural element and also how they do it to do the finishing with the various types of uh, walls, even the toilets, the wardrobes, the walk-in wardrobes, and essentially the windows and the beautiful deck what they have created. I think this kind of uh, villas will be very useful for those who want to build farmhouses, especially you know in the outskirts of any city or maybe hill stations or seafronts, things like that. This is appropriate uh, uh, technology where we can use and uh, since it can be replaced or moved without much damage, it becomes a very sustainable thing in the long run. Especially today, most of the buildings are with concrete and you know, steel. These are not sustainable materials. But whereas wood is a sustainable material, from tomorrow, even the entire house dilapidated condition, it will come one with the soil or earth. That way, sustainability is one factor which I would like to appreciate in using wood. Of course, wood is a very rare material in India. But in Canada, it is superfluous. So that is why you are able to supply and I think it is very useful, in, um, especially in hill stations and other places where Permanent structures are not allowed. In such places, we we'll always have this as a semi-permanent or maybe a temporary structure which can always be moved. So that gives a lot of scope for uh, you know intervention in this kind of areas. And I think um, from the I must appreciate uh, the entire organizers, the promoter from Canadian Wood and Indo, and of course our friend uh, Shankar Alkamia for inviting me. Seen globally, but not in not very frequently used here. Speed and things like that. They say the whole structure can be done about three to six months from order and things like that. Speed, I think, is going to be a major factor because here in India we have uh, we do less time in planning and more time in construction. So this is going to be more time in planning and less time in construction. I think. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you.